어. downloaded the cookie run tower good job and then uh we will do k-pop i know i have to react to the idol i should have done that off stream so that i can i could have edited it but it's okay and then yeah and since tomorrow will be a long day um i'm planning to be doing the Maybe keep today a little bit shorter. Good. My makeup looks nice today. Uh, so today's topic is what social media does to you. I, I actually was trying to figure out other things. I had like 10 things written down. But I lost that paper. <laughs> uh, so we'll talk about that. But yeah, wow, today is so hot in Korea. It's really, really, really hot. Ah, uh, I'll see. I'm trying to, like I said before, move away from doing a bunch of reactions, so like... Mm. If I don't see a benefit, then I'm going to... <laughs> I feel bad saying that, it's like, oh that, that idol is just kind of bad, right? It's, it's bad saying that, but... <laughs> I mean, I'll see, I'll see. I'm not sure. Ah, thank you. Ah, ah, ah. I didn't even hear the music. Oh, really? Oh, uh, really? Oh, it's, uh, it's so hot. Hmm. 
나도 아, yesterday even this morning after exercising it got really hot. 어. 아, really? It was raining hard I think in Korea too. Yesterday, Mia scolded me. He was like, Jinri, you have too many contents. You need to focus on at least, like, at most two. It's because you're trying to do too much. And I told him, I know. <laughs> so I have to figure out what content to drop. But I don't know what to drop. I enjoy doing everything. So I'll look into what to drop. <laughs> um... I lost target POE. Yeah. So I might drop games. But because games I think is one of the content that has to spend a long time. But or like at least I should stream during the weekends too if I want to be a game streamer. I don't know. It's too hard. Everything brings joy. Everything is fun. Maybe I should drop K-pop. <laughs> he said, pick one that brings in money and pick one that you enjoy. I was like, ah, uh, what if none of them brings me money? <gasps> what is... the heck? One of them gives me dinero. So I'll have to I'll have to think about it. Um but that was funny. I, I was laughing at his what he was saying. <laughs> How can he say it like that? Whoa, he's so smart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Anyways, yesterday I did a bunch of editing and then I was going to react to the idol. But it came at 6 p.m. And by that time, my makeup was gone. So I was like, ah, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. So, by the way, on Thursday, uh, I'm going to start early stream. And I'm planning to play games with Sora. So. Which kind of sucks. I do want to spend July 11, but or maybe I'll do July 11 event on Friday then. I... Let's end. It takes two. Then Thursday I'll do 7-Eleven stuff. Oh. Where did I change it? Oh, I guess I didn't change it on my thing. Oops. Um, I think after today, uh, I'm going to stop on like playing game together for a bit. Uh, the next game because I have a lot of games and yeah, dude, I didn't even get to finish the PC Cafe game, so I want to finish that. And then, um, like, I'll talk to her about playing other games, but I don't know what she wants to do. She's more very, like, lenient, so I think she, she can do whatever she wants. Or she, I can get her to do whatever she wants. Anyways, today... It takes so long to warm up.
Everyone said I have to react to baby monsters live. It must have been really good. Bebemon. I got in trouble for not knowing the members by a Korean chat. Sorry, I was reading the comments. Ah, oh, when the red velvet. Mm. Hello. Guys, did you know there's two different types of divorce? Did you know in Korean there's one called Yuchikjui where the spouse at fault is not entitled to apply for judicial divorce. So America is Patanjui, Korea is Yuchikjui. So they say it's hard to divorce in Korea. Isn't that funny? So in US, if you say, hey, you know, like, let's get divorced because I don't like you anymore, then it works. But in Korea, that doesn't work. You have to have like a legitimate reason and evidence to back it up. So either they need to like cheat on you or they need to do something. Oh. So if I ever want to get divorced, I have to get divorced in America. I never heard of Yu Chikjui. So I guess it's some Chinese character. Ooh. Mm. Ah, really? So today I brought you guys social media as content because there was actually something that I found. This isn't where I read it. I was watching a YouTube video, but I wanted to bring something else. But there was a post on X. I keep wanting to say there was a post on X and it goes. I don't know if you guys can read it. So it's, it was in Korean. But I thought this was very relatable to a lot of people that we were talking about. So they say this is a post that someone wrote. A lot of um like time <sighs> change. Truth of life that a lot of people don't know of. If you either go, if you go to like a kind of like a B class college or don't even go to your, don't even go to college, your life doesn't get ruined. If you go to like a mid to small company, your life doesn't get married. If you don't have money but get married, your life does not get married. Your life does not get you know like messed up you're ruined um if you don't have money and you have kids your life is not the end if you are very old and you're trying to start something new your life doesn't end however if you start comparing yourself with people on the internet of how they are living then your and then your mindset will start to die or end. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks, Mark. So Mark just uh, helped out with, you know, translating it. But yeah, so if you go to a no-name college, there you go. Or don't go to college. Doesn't go poop. Oh, I like that. And it made me think a lot. So you know how we had a long, long conversation yesterday about marriage and all of a sudden we were like talking it for hours and hours. Um, 
what I found interesting. So I was watching this YouTube video and he was talking about... He wasn't talking about the effects of social media. He's actually... Uh, he, his content is about like housings, right? And so he starts talking about how the life of people these days are related to living very luxury luxury in luxury living you know with everything and so then he talked about how the standards were getting higher and higher every year so he looked into what made the standards higher and compared it with like life back then so back then i didn't know what you guys were doing you guys didn't know what I was doing, right? Um, I would be dancing, I'd be playing harp. You guys didn't know that. But now, because of the internet, not saying the internet is a bad thing, because we also get to learn a lot through the internet, but the more that people are being educated and getting to know how the life is revolving and having this so-called social media is starting to make people more depressed and depressed every day. Um, he actually made a comparison of apparently Korea is the number one country that is on social media. So uh, I forgot the rate. I should have looked up the rate before I, I actually was, was listening to this earlier this morning while I was getting ready. But he was said that Korea was the number one country that is, you know, like, um, that is using social media that is on social media so i guess there was a there was a thing there was a maybe some statistics about it and so what did that bring that brought us how the birth rate in korea is like the lowest right then they looked at the sec the third actually the third um most uh, the third country that uses or that's on social media the most and it was Taiwan and I think Taiwan is also at like less than one I think it's like 0 0.8 or something so they're really really low and then and then they looked at the second which was a country I think it was uh it was a it was the country in Medi in the uh shoot what is that region called that i'm like forgetting in like the like mediterranean those like country yeah middle east thank you middle east country um i think it was united era well what <laughs> I can not Dubai, Dubai, Unite, UA, UAE. Oh yeah, yeah, UAE, UAE. They said they were second. Um, but then their birth rate was at 1.2 something. So that's not the lowest, but because of like their religion, if they were to compare with other countries around like their re or around their country, then they are at the lowest. So they start making a compare or they start making an analysis saying um that people you know like that if you are on social media right it's kind of making you not want to get married or it's actually making you have a very high standard so you know how yesterday we were talking about high standards and what makes someone have high standards and you know like my my friend Sora has we actually had a debate about whether or not she had a high standard and I honestly thought she didn't but it's actually us being on social media and like thinking that her standards aren't high but in reality her standards are high <laughs> so I was actually shocked I also um realized how scary social media was so if you ever want to kind of look at what your standards are, like, you shouldn't compare people with, like, compare with people on the internet. Uh, because, like, at least in Korea, um, I told you guys, their standard, like, Korean standard is one. You have to go from a four-year college in Seoul. And you have to be having 
a stable job, which means not a startup, not a mid-size, but like a, a big company, you know, the named company. I forgot what they called it. There's like a, there's something like Fang in Korea too. Um, and then, you know, like they keep mentioning all these like specs. And then in the end, what they always say is, oh, but isn't my standard not that high? Um, but in reality, because people get to compare themselves with not just people around them, but also people around the world, it's starting to say, oh, like compared to that other girl, my standard is not that high. Like I'm just a normal person. But then we have to look at what the definition of normal is at this rate. Because I don't think it's normal. So in the end, I conclude that everyone has really high standards, which is unfortunate. And, you know, like when you're not making that much money because you check, you see on social media, you know, everyone's going on trips, everyone's going somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you start hating on your life and you start being super depressed and saying, why do I not have that much money and comparing yourself with it? So, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's not necessarily causation. It could be the way around. It could be because you're not married. Oh. But. Thank you. It could be the other way around, like what you're saying, but it kind of doesn't make sense though, right? Saying... Right? I actually don't know what you're trying to state there. Although... That was something that I saw. I didn't, I didn't know that there were... Like... A statistics of how much people use social media but i guess korea is pretty high but you can kind of tell that everyone like it's really scary how addicting social media is i'm talking to a friend like we're on a one-on-one -on -one date we're talking and all of a sudden she checks her social media just to see the stories it is scary <laughs> or she's on her phone checking her cacao talk whether or not she got a cacao talk and it's like if it's not that urgent i think like if you didn't hear a ring or like uh you know like you don't have to check it but they're like so well, i guess cacao talk isn't that of a it's isn't much of a social media but that's something that fun fun random story of today is what social media does to you so I guess Twitch is kind of considered social media, but I guess is as long as you don't get jealous of other people and envy their life and say, well, like look down on it, then I think it's okay. But for a lot of people, especially the younger generation, I think that's really hard. Since I have a cousin who has that type of issue where he looks at social media and you know complains to his parents saying, why didn't I why wasn't I born rich because everyone around him and every one of his friends are good looking and tall and has like is in good shape body and is driving a Porsche and he's 20 but he lives in that society right um he's a med student so there's a lot of rich kids in the med uh, medical school so he's been seeing that a lot so he, I think he had kind of like a mental issue in between saying, you know what, there, there's no point of me trying to study this hard and trying to get into med school because everyone on social media is earning so much money and I'm not earning as much. So that being said, you guys are old. I don't really worry about you guys being addicted to social media and comparing yourself but if you start realizing you're you're on like shorts or social media a bit too long 
like i advise you to step away like if you guys know the me recent memes like up to date i would step away i was really shocked because i stopped watching a lot of tiktoks and instagram too uh since i've been really like busy as in like trying to edit things out um do reactions like learn the dance um and like do a lot of studies and everything so i didn't even know there was this like tear issue dance that came out like a long time ago too so um but don't forget to like my instagram post though <laughs> I think at his age, I would be insecure, but... Oh, is that the meme? Tira Misuhe? Don't be on Instagram. I think I would rather see people playing, like, computer games than Instagram. That's why I don't understand when people make, like, fun of, Insta like, playing games. But I think Instagram is more dangerous than just playing games. That was our that was our random chit chat for today. <laughs> what social media does. And oh, one of the interesting thing that he brought was you know how I don't know if any of you guys watch um uh like Korean variety shows, but in Korean variety shows, it's been kind of a trend to see like other people's lifestyle. Uh, for example, like, naunja sanda is like, we're observing, it's like, they call, I think they call it like, observing media. Where we're just watching how these people live, right? And these people live so fancy because they are, you know, like, um, they are stars. They're either K-pop stars or actresses and so their house looks super nice. They have like very fancy things that you won't see, you know? And so people start to realize, oh, like I want to live like that, right? But they are actually living in a high end. They also get a bunch of sp sponsorship, for example, like maybe air conditioning or the TV. But people at one point don't realize that some of the some of their stuff is sponsored so they think that oh because they're living that lifestyle i want to live like that right so then the standards are getting higher and higher every day and people don't realize it so that's why it may be re related or it may not be but i think it has a lot of effect on why people aren't wanting to get married and I feel like I caused a very bad thing for Sora too, is I moved to a, like, an apartment. I, you guys know that, like, before I settled in, like, in Korea, we lived at a smaller house. But now that we moved to, a, like, an apartment, Sora, I realized what she said to me, and I, I was like, ah... You know, actually, this is really bad for people who wanting to get married. So she thought that, you know, like marriage is like this, where we have a lot of energy. We have a lot of money to be in an apartment. But in reality, it's OK to start at a smaller house, like at like a, um, like a not an apartment. But a lot of Koreans think that, hey, we if we want to get married, we must start at an apartment especially in Seoul. Um, so then if you compare that with the pricing, then it just kind of goes like too much. So actually, I don't like this, our new house. Um, like it is a little bit too big for us and we are kind of paying more than we should be. We just couldn't find a house near the area that we wanted to be. So we are paying extra. So that's why I don't go out to eat a lot. Um, but like we also kind of regret moving here, but to a lot of the like Korean girls who's envy other people's lives, this is like a luxury house that everyone would be envying. So 
I kind of feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't know the background, right? That's the problem with Instagram. They think that whatever be whatever is being posted on Instagram is like how other people are living. But that's not the that's not the reality, right? That's just they they should have something that they're in pain of or something like that, but yeah. I think I guided her to a wrong way. Now that I think about it, so I kind of feel bad. I, I do kind of feel bad in that way. But that's that's marriage for you guys. Don't get married. <laughs> marriage is not good. Marriage, all they do is kind of ruin other people's lives. Don't get married, but stop being picky and get married. I mean, here's the thing. Okay, my advice to even you guys is get married, man. But don't look for a rich girl. Or a girl that's pretty. Like, don't have high standards. Right? I've seen so many girls with high standards. <laughs> and... I mean, like, what are they? Some people have like marriage fantasy too. That when you get married, we'll live happily ever after without any fighting. <laughs> and that's impossible. You guys will fight. Every couple will fight in the end. You know. But then people don't know that, and so, like, if they're if that's what you're gonna think. That people are not gonna like fight and live happily ever after. Then like don't get married. If that's the case, then I wouldn't get married. <laughs> so if you have like a fantasy of getting married and like thinking that your wife is going to be like an angel, understands everything, blah blah blah, like then I don't I don't recommend getting married. But if you wanna try out like getting to know the person, like working out relationship and everything, then Yeah. Like they think that once it's once you are married, everything's going to work out. But it's not that. You you just started a new chapter, right? The book doesn't end when you start a new chapter, but that's what a lot of people are thinking. The marriage law? It's a marriage law in US. So then I wouldn't say don't get married. <laughs> like I had a I had a friend um where she goes uh like she sees how I live too. I think I corrupted a couple of friends because like I mean like me and I are very like ha like happily married. We have fights we like i'd be lying if i say oh we're always like like feeling so like feeling as if we're dating that's like complete lie we fight every other day well we don't fight that much these days but like when we first started living together we were fighting like every week <laughs> um but people don't know that because i don't post about it i don't talk to my friends about why we fight because that's like you know like talking crap about husband and I don't think that should be a good thing but um I had a friend that came to my house and goes wow is this what like marriage is and especially because like I just upload pictures of like me and I going to the gym together they're like oh my god like you guys have things together you guys don't fight you guys are living so happily ever after and you guys have like money because you guys are living in an apartment like I 
I think I should get married now. That's what literally what that friend said. And then I was like, no. <laughs> so, like, to that friend, then I said, don't get married. If that's what you think. Because she was talking about how her other friend wasn't living, like, a good life. Apparently, like, the guy doesn't have that much money. So, like, she's always home, like, taking care of the kids. And, like, don't have time for herself. But I think that is more of the reality of marriage than, like, wanting to go out and, like, party. Wanting to, like, thinking that your future husband would be partying with you. So, that for that case, I said, ah, oh, don't get married. Do you think it would be boring if there was never any fights or arguments? How would that be? Yeah, my Instagram is kind of for my enemies. <laughs> I just uploaded. But then there are definitely like the pure friend that gets kind of like... <laughs> confused too. Honestly, I think if there was no arguments or fighting... I feel like there is a problem with that in any relationship. Because... You two are different human beings. Even you fight with your siblings, right? You fight with your mom and dad. And you guys have the same... Like, you guys have very similar genes inside. So, if you are not fighting with your loved one... I would be a little worried. Because that means one of them is kind of keeping it down. And, like, it's gonna stack up every time you do something that irritates him. And it's gonna explode, and by then, you cannot take it. So that's kind of like how it was with Mia. He was a kid that, like, doesn't talk about it. And he would explode, right? So I can actually tell him, hey, you have to let it out every time, or else when it explodes, I'm not gonna know what's going on. Um, and it's it could lead to a, a bigger fight. So that's what I always say. Anyway, random, random wife of husbando material talk today. So, reality. Don't get married. Oh, he's so much better. Because we talk things out. I think that's the most important thing about marriage is talking it out. But people don't do that. They think it's kind of like a waste to talk. Or it's... It's like not a good thing, but you guys have to talk it out, right? So. Yeah. Ah, okay. So let's move on. <laughs> and yeah, for an hour, it's okay. Because, you know, I have to wait for interns to come. It takes uh, interns an hour, but. I could see, yeah. Uh... And I feel like I've seen the worst type of marriage is when they say, I want to get married because I'm going to be lonely. Yeah, then that's a really bad thing. So it's good that you broke up with her. But then that right person, like, meeting that right person is hard. But... I feel like some people are also not straightforward, like... Anyways... It's hard. Don't get married. <laughs> Change your mind. Hey, Bunga, don't have high expectations. I think that's the biggest thing. If you have high expectations, then she's like, don't get married. Oh, some people have too much high expectations. That's actually the reason why... You know how people blame it on, oh, the Korean housing issues and everything? There's actually a statistic... Like an article saying there aren't that many like apartments. There's also a lot of like villas. Uh, what which what is it in English? Kind of like a smaller house. 
But because they have like a mindset, of, like I would say 99% of Koreans have a mindset saying, you, when you get married, you have to live in an apartment because that defines success that you have had a very successful marriage. So it's like if you don't be if you don't live in an apartment, then you are considered kind of like a failure in life. But it, reality is that apartments in Korea, especially in Seoul, is expensive. It's okay to live in like villas or studio house, you know, like the smaller house, but they don't accept that. Like the society does not accept it, which is super unfortunate. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. So. It's kind of sucky, but. Like. If a girl wants a big wedding. And she works at like a. Like a company with lots of girls. I think that's something that you guys should understand and not blame it on your wife, especially if she's good at like, you know, like saving up money. But if she's just using money and she doesn't, you know, she only cares about social media, then I think that's a different story. <laughs> I guess a big wedding is like if you spend a lot of money on your wedding ring um, and your honeymoon and your wedding is kind of like in a very big place that's expensive, then I would change it. Because I actually was watching another thing this morning and it talked about how like... They were doing a comparison. So this guy was marrying his uh, girlfriend and apparently the girlfriend wanted a Tiffany & Co ring, which was $5,000, right? But then there's a place in Korea, Jonglo? And they can make fake rings. <laughs> they, I mean, they do use real diamonds, but it's only like a thousand five hundred. So Tiffany and Co. You know, that's definitely using like their brand names. But this guy who's like really good at you know saving up money, he goes, actually, if I were you in the guy's position, I would actually, yeah. You think you would go with the second option? He actually chose the first option, and this is Korea, but. One of the biggest issue with Korea is when you get married, what are some questions when your friend comes up and he, he says or she said, hey, I'm getting married. What do you say? Like, what questions do you ask her? Like, oh, what made you want to get married? Oh, is he like nice to you? What did you like about him? You know, like you ask about the guy's personality, right? And like the love stories and stuff. Maybe it's a little different maybe with girls. Um, I, I don't really talk to US girls about like my marriage, but in Korea or at least my like American friends when I asked about like uh, when I told them I was getting married the questions I didn't even get any questions, but they were like, I'm so happy for you that you found the loved one because um, I told them like the stories and everything and then it was like, oh, like I'm happy that you're like you're going like is he nice to you and everything. But in Korea, it's different. You know what they ask you? They go, oh, like, where are you guys going on the honeymoon? <laughs> right? And then they ask you, like, did he buy your ring? Where'd you get it? Like, and then what venue are you getting married? Like, what wedding dress did you get? Um, where are you getting your makeup done? Like, they're asking about all those. And if it's just that, it's okay. But in the back, behind, behind, you know, the girl, they'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe she's getting married there. Like, she's been saving up for that money. She's just getting married at, like, a small venue. That's so funny. Like, there are, not every girl is like this, but it is, like, a common thing I noticed in Korea. And I talked to a lot of, like, my Korean friends. Um, and that's, that's something that they realize that that's happening. So, that's why the standards are getting so much higher. Who pays for the wedding? Um, sometimes the family helps out and sometimes it's also like the parents helping out. Um, or but mostly they try to do it for the like each other. The well, yeah, the bride and the groom just pays for the whole thing. So 
Yeah. So that's why, for the girl, she was wanting to... She was kind of leaning towards the $5,000 ring. Because she knew that if she were to get the cheaper ring, they're going to talk crap. And one thing that I really hate that I've noticed is when people talk crap about not just you, but your loved one. That is the most annoying, crabby thing. So I try not to... Yeah, so I kind of understand her. I, I kind of understood why she wanted the $5,000 ring. Um, and she wasn't like spending money easily, but yeah. Well, here's the thing though, Flame. It's like she's your coworker, and in Korea, it's kind of rude to not invite your coworker. Um, so that's why. Yeah, like it's manner. <laughs> Oh, some people want a 100k ring? I would imagine. Actually, I don't know if there's actually like a rule of how much to spend on a ring. But like, I think just a decent amount on spending on the ring is okay. It's just that the standard got really high, unfortunately. But who can we blame? <laughs> Um, kinda. I regret inviting some of them. Not some of them. Does that sound rude? Uh, there were some that I wasn't like close to and I kind of had to invite. Well, I didn't have to invite, but it was just kind of like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's for offline stories. <laughs> but there were definitely some people that didn't kind of know the common Korean rules. Which I think even goes with American style, so they can't be like, oh, I'm from America, but yeah. There were a lot of... Yeah. There was even someone that I didn't- I've never met, but... <sighs> Let's not talk about Mary Woody. <laughs> we're not gonna go there. There's lots of things that I shouldn't be saying that was irritating me at the wedding. But I try not to think about it. There was two things that I got pissed off. Um, that I'm not gonna mention about the wedding. It was a happy wedding. We learned a lot. We had fun. We were enjoying it. We are happily ever after married. But yeah. Yeah. But after that, it really made me think, Oh, There are some people in life that I should... Actually, marriage is a good way of how of like deleting some of your friends <laughs> wipe out but oh, it's okay whatever so anyways um so don't get married in the end finally Finally saying, don't get married. Conclusion! Marriage is bad. <laughs> I love how I confuse you guys. It's like, wait, does she want us to get married or does she not want us to get married? Ah, uh, today I plan on... Looking at the programming thingy that we have. So, you guys wanted me to look at. Oh, today I am super sleepy. Oh, I didn't get a very good night's sleep. It was like, you know those sleep you have where it's like very thin? Does that, does that work? Does that make sense? Like a very light sleep where you think you're sleeping, but you're actually not. Or you think you're awake, but you're actually sleeping. I think I had that happen this weekend. Or how I had that yesterday night, so my brain isn't really fucking. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Oh, 너무 졸린데? 어떡하지? Actually, right now I think I can sleep for like another hour. Oh, I woke up at 6:30 and I wasn't feeling very refreshing. I felt like wow. Ah, <laughs> 심이 좋다. Um. 
So today we will compare deep L programming versus Puggle. Ice cold coffee? Yeah. Are you in favor of divorce if someone is not happily married? Um, I think you should give it a try. Before signing paper, but I feel like a lot of people, instead of trying to make the relationship better, don't waste that energy and just say, hey, okay, let's just end it. So, in that sense, I don't like those type of things. Especially, like, in Korea, they don't really value, like, therapy highly. So, that's really unfortunate. They think that therapy is a little waste of time. So today's uh, program that we will look at is Deep L Pro. Oh, Seiji, thank you for the $50 donation. Yay. Oh, Seiji, 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 Seiji. Let's also do go to it. You go to thank you. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you for my new PC. Hooray! Thank you, Hamzamnida. Thank you, Seishi. No therapist job in Korea. I mean, they do have therapy, but they think Korea has connected therapy with mental issues. So if you get any therapy, you know, if you go any like mental care, they think that you have mental issues. But I think a lot of Koreans already have mental issues. They just don't realize it, especially those who are negative. Like, so pessimistic. I've met so many people who are so pessimistic. Like, I cannot finish a sentence. Sometimes I get a concept wrong. Like, I was talking to a friend about, um, some, right, like, something about, like, content, like, YouTube being Red Ocean. But I got the terminology Red and Blue Ocean wrong. But, like, you could just go on with it. It's not like I don't know the difference and I know what's what, but I, you know, like, if you get tired, you make a mistake. But she has to correct it. She was like, oh, oh my god, do you not, uh, don't you mean Red Ocean or whatever ocean? Like, I can't believe, like, you got that terminology wrong. Like, it's so calm. It's like, dude, just give me a break. <laughs> so I realized that that's something that's really common with a lot of Koreans. Like, they want to correct you. Everything. That was like the problem with I had with my mother-in-law too. Was like... If I say something, for example, I told her, Oh! Um... Just don't correct other people. Like, unless they ask you to correct people, like, don't correct them. Because it, it's annoying. Period. Just don't do that. But I was talking to... Who was I talking to? I was talking to a friend. Oh, I was talking to my mother-in-law. And I told her, oh, like, me and I started running. Like, it's really helpful. Like, it was very good for us. She could have just said, oh, that's great. Yeah, I heard that's good for you. And ended it. But she goes, oh, but you shouldn't run. It's bad for your knees. I'm like, have you tried? <laughs> And she goes on and on about how she was playing badminton and she messed up her knees. And I'm like, okay, badminton and running is not the same thing. And like... People that annoy the piss- that annoy the crap out of me are those people that have never, like, done sports or exercise and think that they know everything. That's like my biggest pet peeve. And yeah, because I don't think my mother-in-law have actually done a legitimate sports. Like, it's not like I wasn't like, a, you know, like a sports team. But, you know, I played a lot of sports in America. You know, I played basketball, soccer, football, frisbee. I also joined the frisbee team. I played tennis and everything. And like... Oh, yeah, I don't think bad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but in esports, yeah, I played esports too. <laughs> we played ultimate frisbee. It was fun. I I was in the uh, high school ultimate frisbee team because there was a really hot guy, so I joined. But um, 
but people don't know that as long as you warm up and stretch like you're not gonna hurt your body the reason why people especially elders hurt their body is they don't know the importance of stretching and warming up they think that you just can play it which is like the worst thing you're supposed to do especially when you get older for women especially because first of all asian women don't have leg muscles they are the most skinniest like ladies and they don't move right so they think that playing badminton is gonna help but actually in reality badminton is like the worst place uh, sports for elders to play because there's a lot of sudden movements that would mess up your knees so to avoid that you need to exercise right you need to take care you need to like get leg muscles yeah a lot of stop and go a lot of sudden movements like rotation that's why tennis badminton are really bad for your knees too but they don't know that so if anyone just injured themselves then they think that oh you can't do that sports it's so dumb like all of a sudden what was what was irritating me was i we were talking about running right and then she said don't run and then all of a sudden she goes yeah i had a friend who jumped down from like this really tall like um like some area and and then he messed up his knees or he like you know yeah whatever and i was like it wasn't even Pakuro. He was just like fixing something. And then he just jumped down. He's an old guy. He's like 50. And he just jumped down. And so he messed up his knee. Like, what does that have to do with running, first of all? Which irritated me. Second of all, like... That shouldn't be... Like, no one should be doing that. That's for only babies to, like, jump down. Because they have really strong knees at that moment. But, like... And third of all, I'm 30. That guy's 50. <laughs> I just hate it. Like, she's not even doing any exercise and she's giving me, like, she's backseating me. So, was... but me also got irritated too, being like, uh, yeah, and do you exercise? I think he actually said that. He's like, do you exercise? <laughs> I think so too. So, ageism? <laughs> I got really irritated. Yeah, so. You gotta stretch and warm up, but people never warm up. I don't know why they don't warm up. They think it's a waste of time. But you need a, you really need to stretch and warm up. So even like me and I. So I told her, I was like, hey, like we should go for a run. Even like your, your first son is running, though he did mess up his foot. But she goes, oh, but I have bad knees. I'm like... <laughs> it's because you have no leg muscles. Like, at least do some squats. You know? Like, my mom does yoga every day. She is so healthy. Right? But doesn't do that. And so I tell... I like... I told her. I told her. You need a like exercise because she talks about how she was getting fat which she's not i hate those like oh my god she's like the most typical asian like girl so it was kind of funny because she's like oh i'm so fat i can't eat a lot i'm like when you do zero exercise of course you're gonna get fat as you grow older your body like for your body to digest food or you know like fat it's hard so the more you exercise and keep that up it's gonna help you you know and she likes sweet things too much so or does she whatever oh so in the end don't just don't back just don't talk about just don't agree with them it's not too hard Right? You just... If someone says something wrong, and she says it wrong again, don't correct them. Just be like, oh, okay. Just don't say anything. <laughs> just let it go. Just be like, oh, okay. And end. Okay. 
It also lets. Oh, really? Did you just imply badminton? Is what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, badminton is not a legit sport too. As a true friend, you, that is not a true friend. That is a annoying friend. <laughs> Okay, sorry not to for like dissing badminton, but it is not a legit sport. Just kidding. <laughs> he must have been really hurt by me dissing badminton. <laughs> so, but anyways, it's it's reality, unfortunate reality. Ping pong. So any ping pong, tennis, badminton, anything with a court is bad for your knees. Um, there's a lot of like, if you're moving ankles, like, you know, you got to go this way, that way. Um, so that's actually really bad for your legs and ankles and knees because there's a lot of rotation movement. Oh, even basketball too. Yeah. So yeah, technically Mark, that is true. Everything's bad for your knees. So what you got to do is you need to like gain like leg muscles. So. Yeah. Anything away from your desk is bad for- Yeah, yeah, yeah. AGT? Oh, really? Oh, what is AGT? America's Got Talent? <laughs> Their jaws dropped. Ah, let's write knee. Ah, you go go na. A T G de, A T G de. Ah, close enough. There's actual equipment for it too. Oh. Whoa. Without any equipment, you can start improving badminton right now. <gasps> Step one, ten minute walk plus basketball. Gives us a better chance of playing knee without a route and encouraging painkiller days and icing my feet. And then again, it's just a fun sport if you couldn't do a splash. Some it will still get you amped. Next year I'm going to Rutgers. Oh, over toe training. <gasps> really? So I guess it, it must work then. Oh. Did I send it over? Yeah. Hiking is bad for you. Hiking is the worst set for your knees because when you go up the mountain, it may be okay, but when you're going down, then it's so much pressure. It's more pressure than just running. So. Ah, for his shoulder? Yeah, I'll look for it. Hiking is bad. Hiking. That's why I don't like hiking. Well, I don't know why, but when you get old, a lot of elders, especially in Korea, love hiking. Like, every Sunday, Saturday morning, they go hiking. Oh, maybe that's why they go hiking. Hiking is banned from Germany, or this knee thing is banned from Germany. Isn't that crazy? They're always hiking. But I think it's so bad for your knees to go down. Oh! I'm banned from Germany for not liking... Not, not enjoying hiking. Does Germany have good hiking courses? Should we go hiking? I, we went hiking that time at Suwon, right? But I messed up my knees coming down from Suwon. 
all those stairs that I took down. So that was not good for my knees. Oh, and there was no other way of going around that area, which was really sad. So. Ugh. Anyway, so let's learn about Deep L first and then look at it. Um, figure out what it was. The scenery. Uh. Okay. So it's in Korean. Can I change it to English first? What do we do? No. I've actually never used this. So, this is where it leads us when I log on to Deep L. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, you guys wanted me to compare with Korean, right? How the Korean is com going out. Um, so, it's really good for Japanese translation, but I don't know how good the Korean translation is. Uh, ah, because they added the Korean. So I think what we should do is first look at what it is, like, um, play around with some of their products. And then uh, I'll also create, like, a short video. And then we'll compare it with the three Papago, Google Translate, and Deep Elf. Does that sound good? So they have Translator, seems like their main product. Um... They also have Deep L, right? Ooh, an API. Uh, build multilingual experience in your product. So you can use their API to create some translation thing with Barbara. Germany is a total, is a hiking nation. Why did I read? Uh, has a total hiking trail of. <gasps> 20% of Germans say they even hike frequently. Oh. Hey Alvo, if I go to Germany, I will hike just for you. Does that sound good? I will hike. I will do a hiking stream if I go to Germany then. Even if I hate hiking, I will try German hiking and see if I will like it. If and see if I fall or fall in love with it. So they have a desktop app, browser extension, mobile app, explore all app, and you can integrate it with all three. Oh. So enhance your translation with DeepL's advanced features. You can simply simplify your workflow, save valuable time. Da 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 da. Tailor translations to fit your needs. Oh. Ah, so it's actually can be good for writing. Writing? Not just translation, but also good at writing. Um. And then you can translate the whole document uh, with one click. Ah, so they have all plans, pro plans. Enjoy unlimited text translation. I don't think I leave it to cool. Set the right tone. Mm, create your own glossary. Wow, you're going to talk. I like this. Benefit from our built-in dictionary. It has. And then integrate Deep L with your. CAT? What is CAT tool? Uh, computer assistant translation tools. Mm. So it's not only for translation, but also for writing, it seems like. The translation quality. Oh. So for Japanese, they think that it's six times more accurate than Google, Amazon, and Windows. <gasps> what happens if I click on stick to it? Gosh, contact us. Oh. So advanced AI technology meets unbeatable translation accuracy. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. 
So, TechCrunch. 와, 엑시, 아, TechCrunch구나. It actually won a German Innovation Award in 2020. I didn't know that Amazon had a translation service. Japanese translation is really good. So if you were to uh, compare it with Google, what do you think, Stacy? I don't like their logo though. Ah, na iron logo pila ito. Business. Transform enterprise communication with language AI. Hmm. So you can actually get it for your own business. Actually, this would be a good business uh, thing to have if your product is global. Data security, ROI. Ah, uh, ROI? Oh, you don't want to go I love reading about customer success. So what's really good is that it can also work with the team, work with the company on customizing. I think the customizing is a very helpful tool that they have. Right? Improve workforce. Ah, oh, Gen Desk. I haven't heard this in a while. What is the resources? Blog, industry report. So, ah, uh, he will not give me blog. I uh, industry. Oh, 정확성. Ooh, accuracy. Um, enhance context parameter feature. Further boosts translation accuracy. Mm. To add additional context within their text translation request. This feature is particularly useful for short, low context sources such as product names, description, or article headlines. Instances where translation can be improved through additional content surrounding the request. How does the context parameter feature work? Da -da -da -da. What are why are we launching the context parameter feature? Ding ding ding. Wow. So they expand global reach to 165 new markets. Well, you don't go to Tokyo based software company Saibozu. Mm. So they have global presence with offices in Vietnam, China, and US. So then there are more members from each country than Japanese speaking members. So language of communication differs depending on the location. In Vietnam, communication is in Vietnamese. In US, it's English, da 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 da. So it helps them translate. What the heck is this picture? You don't feel this? Mm, I wonder if it if ah oh, can you zoom in? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. You can try Amazon. Oh, okay, so let's try all three. If it's better or worse than ChatGPT for Korean, at least um. Okay. No problem. So let's try testing out their translation text because I am Korean. I will be able to rate Korean. If there's other language you guys want to rate, let me know of and I will trust you guys for now. But let's use um, a text. I don't actually know how well this will do, but 
Ah, so the dictionary, at least for Korean, is unavailable, but maybe they said that Japanese is highly. Ah, 그러네. Click on a word to look it up. Wait, okay, then. Right. I love watching Korean dramas, and they. Uh, especially when. Sanje is on. I want to ha- I want to marry him. Wait, that is a really bad sentence that I just created. <laughs> I love- oh, actually, I love watching Japanese manga. They have good looking oppa- uh, oppa aniguna. Uh, guys with sexy voice. Trust me. I can hear them. Okay. So the dictionary, click on a word to look it up. Oh, okay. Click on a word. Dictionary. Japan. Oh, you go jota. Alternatives. Watashi wa nihon no. Okay. Okay. Watashi wa nihon no manga o mit mit miru no ka daiski nanda. Why why is it daiski nanda? Is it is it right? Uh Iken Well you can well what is this? Ah What is this saying? Na Moya Yen Moni Yen Ah voice Sekushi I got this Sekushi <laughs> Iken me what is Ikenmen? A good looking guys is that? Oh. What is this? Give me the. I love the dictionary. Two. Inamwa. Uh, dictionary. Me. Shinde? Shinji? What is Them. It's hard to move. Mommy, I'm doing Voice. Okuni. Okuni wa? Okay. Titan. Well, there's a dictionary feature. Ikenme. Iken. What is Ikemen? What is Ikemen? I've never heard of it. Okay, let's try Korean. Okay, what should we what should we translate to Korean then? Korean how about the um I love Korean drama. Whoa I watched one the other day called Queen of Tears and seeing Kim Su Hyun made me want to marry him do you think there are guys like him in real world let me know don't forget to follow and sub to my channel okay so i said i love korean drama i watched one the other day Called Queen of Tears, and seeing Kim Soo Hyun made me want to marry him. Do you think they are? Do you think there are guys like him in real world? Let me know. Don't forget to follow and sub to my channel. <laughs> Hi, Nine Dog. 한국 드라마를 좋아합니다. 얼마 전에 눈물의 여왕을 봤는데 Kim Soo Hyun을 보고 결혼을 하고 싶다는 생각이 들었어요. 현실에서도 그런 남자가 있을까요? 알려주세요. 제 채널을 팔로우하고 구독하는 것도 잊지 마세요. 우와! 우와! 이거 너무 좋은데? 아, 이거를 이렇게 그와 결혼하고 
대박이다. 이거 진짜 잘했다. 와. 오, 이게. This is actually like very fluent. As if I am writing a business letter. I mean, this is not like business related stuff, but as if I'm writing a business email. Um, it's so natural. It's not like those like messed up <laughs> translation. Oh, 이거 진짜 잘한 건데. Oh, okay, okay. So let me see if we can do this. Um, I want to try Korean to English. Oh, <gasps> so some of them also have the ability to speak. I want to try speaking too. Okay, English. Oh. Yeah, even the formality was correct, and the way that they sometimes a lot of the translation, the formality feels very awkward. But this one was very natural. I think a lot of Koreans will agree on this. 한국어로 뭐라 하지? What should I talk in Korean? Uh, 세상에는 정말 많은 남자들이 많습니다. 하지만 uh, 완벽한 남자는 없죠. 키가 100, 180 이상에다가 잘생기고 돈도 잘 벌고 uh, 아, 잘생기고 안정적인 직업인 남자는 과연 몇 프로나 될까요? 현실적으로 이런 남자 만나는 건 쉽지 않은 것 같아요. 음, 언젠가는 청자들도 결혼해야 할 텐데 스펙이 좋지 않아 걱정될 것 같아요. 결혼 결혼은 정말 좋은 사람 아니면 하지 마라. 그렇다고 좋은 사람의 의미는 외적인 부분이 아닌 다른 거를 봤으면 해. 이만 너의 사장님이 전한 사장님이 전하는 말이다. 오케이. 아, 무슨 일 So let's see. So I said 세상에는 정말 많은 남자들이 있, 많습니다. There are so many men in the world. 하지만 완벽한 남자는 없죠. But there is no perfect man. Not bad. Ooh. 키가 180 이상에다가 잘생기고 안정적인 직업인 남자는 과연 몇 프로나 될까요? My translation is What's the percentage of meeting a guy that's over 180 cm, good looking, and has a stable job? Let's see what he says. How many men are over 6 feet tall, handsome, and have a stable job? Oh, not bad, not bad. In reality, 현실적으로 이런 남자 만나는 건 쉽지 않을 것 같아요. It's not easy to meet. It's not easy to find a man like this. Wow. Oh. Yeah. One day. 언젠가는 one day. 아 언젠가는 translated to one day. I don't like it. Let's do someday. 이런 거 되나? 아 그러네. At one point. <gasps> At some point, the viewers will have to get married. And they will be worried because they don't have, they don't have the right qualifications. Whoa, spec is kind of a spec can be used in different terminology, but the fact that they use the word qualification for this is amazing because they realize what the context is is that it's about talking about guys, and so they can use it using the word spec. 미쳤다. 이건 미친 거야. 이거 개 좋아. <gasps> 결혼은 정말 좋은 사람 아니면 하지 마라. Don't get married unless you are a really. 아 여긴 잘못됐다. 아 이건 내가 잘못 썼네. In Korean, ah, uh, this is actually a problem with Korean. I wanted to say, marry, don't get married unless you meet a really good person. 
but I didn't specify who this good person is. So, 정, 결혼은 정말. I actually, this is very hard to translate. So, 이거는 좀 힘들어하네. There are a little bit of like maybe like a flaw in terms of like how I would phrase it versus what this is understanding what I'm talking about. Uh, but 결혼은 unless you meet a really good person is alternative. Unless he is, they are. They are really good person. 이건 이상한데? Unless he is a really good person. But I want you to see that the meaning of a good person is more than just the external part. Oh, oh wait, why didn't I not translate this ending? And now, a word from your boss. 음, 근데 이거 진짜 잘했다. This is really wow. The fact that they translated, I didn't even write centimeters, and they automatically translated it to six feet tall. Because I mentioned the word like key, which is height. 음, 괜찮은데. Okay, let's do vo voice. How does this work? How does this voice work? I want to do voice. I will not. I click on OK. You consent to having your voice recorded. OK. My voice is always recorded. Hi, guys. Today, we are going to learn about Korea history. Is it picking up my voice? Oh, I'm done. What? <laughs> Hello? Are you listening? I have a good accent. The fact that you can't listen to me is not my fault. It's your fault. Ah, maybe it's not picking up my mic. Come on, let me see. Can I test it? Hi, my name is Jinri. I am an AI. I love learning about AI. How about you? What do you think about AI? Oh, ah, here it is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hi, my name is Jinri. 제 이름은 진리입니다. I am an AI. 저는 인공지능입니다. I love learning about AI. 저는 인공지능에 대하는 걸 배우는 걸 좋아해요. How about you? 여러분은 어떠, 어떠세요? What do you think about 인공지능? 어떻게 생각? 아, 되네, 되네. So the other day, I was talking to this girl and she really wanted this guy to have the best body in the world. And I was like, what the heck? You are not that hot. You have an A cup for your boob size. I can't believe you. that's what you're expecting. Can you look for something better? She got mad at me. So we stopped being friends since then. <laughs> so the other day I was talking to this girl and she really wanted this guy to have the best body in the world. And I was like, what the heck? You are not that hot. You have an A cup for your poop size. <laughs> I can't believe that's what you're expecting. Can you look for something better? She got mad at me. So we stopped being friends since then. Wait, that works well. That's actually really well. So, 얼마 전에 어떤 여자애랑 여자애와 이야기를 나누는데 이 남자가 세상에서 가장 멋진 몸을 가졌으면 이 남자, she really wanted this guy. 아, 그러네. 이 남자가 세상에서 가장 멋진 몸매를 가졌으면 좋겠다고 하더라고요. 와. The fact that they said 하더라고요 is that they know that my tone is just talking to a friend when they translate for this one. 하더라고요. 그래서 제가 생각했죠. 뭐야? 
당신은 그렇게 섹시하지 않잖아 <웃음> 근데 당신? 당신 너는 너는 하자 너는 그렇게 섹시하지 않잖아 <웃음> They translated super nice 어, 가슴 사이즈가 A컵이잖아요 아 sometimes 아 우와 <웃음> So when I use 당신 It's honorific So they used 요 When I changed it to 너는 Or 너 They automatically changed it to Like uh, Friendly 뭐냐 <웃음> Even I cannot speak Korean English Oh Korean English 가슴 사이즈가 A컵이잖아요 그런 걸 기대하다니 믿을 수가 없네요 더 좋은 거 찾아볼래요? 아니 찾아... 아 찾아볼 수 있어요 It, it fills in the blank of how I wanna Can you look for something better? 이거가 안 됐네 Something like can you look for something better? Oh. 나한테 화를 냈어요 그래서 그 이후로 친구 사이를 그만뒀어요 친구 사이를 그만뒀어요 라고는 안 하지 친구 사이를 끊었어요 로 하죠 주로 So I think Korea translation to Korean uh, out of 100 it's like um, 85 85 86 there are some parts that's missing uh, that they need to work on but I think this is really well made not bad I really like it I will keep some of these prompts that you guys like and then I will translate it um, later. So that was the translation. The dictionary isn't supported for Koreans right now, but I think it will work for anything else. Uh, and then... Ah! Do they have my other prompt? I want to keep... Oh, here. I like this prompt too. What other prompt did I have? 그 다음에 um, they have translate files so apparently uh, I have to sign up but I can translate let's see hey guys give me a file let me make a let me... <laughs> guys you guys have no clue how many like stuff I am making for this content I want to receive update no I don't want to I'm above 14 ah so you have to be above 14 to make this guys so I'm doing a security check oh ah oh okay I guess no security check. So um, translation files. I can drop down a file, but I have no file. Can someone make me a file right now that I can download and upload it on Discord? Um, with the same prompt that I used on my channel, because I don't have Windows. Good. Someone make me a PDF. Dame. Uh, so better writing for deep L right. So, what is this? What does this do? Oh, I can speak in German! Guten Tag. <laughs> oh, sorry, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know what I can say. Um, Alto Vision. Oh. What is some German word? Dang. Ka. Ah, it's dang. You know, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Enough playing around. Okay, English. So they want to, this will make my writing much better. So let's pretend I'm writing an essay. <sighs> let's write an essay. Guys, it's been almost 10 years since I wrote an essay, so my essay writing skills are going to be very crappy, but hopefully it'll be good. Oh, wait, we got German. Let's try German. Deser blau de ber nali nata na monzorinji de mola of D4. Let's translate what this is. English. So this says... This chat area is now the property of the Federal Republic of Germany. Ooh, and then Korean? 이 채팅 영역은 현재 독일 연방 공화국의 소유입니다. So, that they would want you to use bearish, bearish, ich nun, ein gentum der bond. 
des Republik Deutschland. Was not for anyways, let's write an essay in English. Sorry. Sorry for all my uh German German <laughs> viewers. I'm not good with German. I never learned German. <laughs> so Okay, English essay. Um this is when I will use Can you, Can you try some try translation, some translation between, between American and British, British English? English? Oh, yes, we can. Thank you for the 200 bits. Let's try. Is there a difference? Korean to British? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll jump. American English. It seems they, this one is just English. Ah. Oh. Would you like some tea? Ah, oh. so it actually does not work to try to translate from English, American English to British English. Oh, so okay, so maybe I should try Korean and then do okay. Let's use the same prompt we said about the boobs. Oh wait, no, I have to write it in Korean. <sighs> yeah, no conversation between English. So... Uh, 전에 친구를 만났는데... I met a friend the other day. Uh, 그 친구가 결혼할 남자를 찾았다고 소개시켜 준 거예요. 보니까 그 남자가 남자의 키가 190인데 얼굴은 좀 그랬어요. <웃음> 그래서 차한잔 먹을래? 라고 권유하길래 저는 괜찮다 하고 다행히 빠져나왔어요. 저 얼마 전에 친구를 만났는데 I met a friend the other I met a friend the other day and he told me that he had a he had oh, he? I want to see my 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 friend he had found it. He had found a man to marry and I looked at his I looked at him. And ooh, there's so many and in this uh, sentence. And I looked at him. Ah, 보니까는 and I looked at him. I I wanted this is a uh, Korean language when it says 보니까 means um like to look, but also means I realized. Like it could be used as I realized. So there's still a bit of flaw. 그 남자의 키가 190인데. I looked at him, and he was 190. Does this... Does this make sense? <laughs> and he was a little bit of a face. Oh, is that what they say? A little bit of the face? <laughs> and he invited me to have a cup of tea, and I said I'm fine, and I got out of there. Oh, just a little bit of... Uh, I think... Like I said, I think the translation is 85. Um, I think the British English is dropping a little bit more, so. He had a gun. What? <laughs> what the heck is that, Abel? Ta, so let me try the deep learning AI. Okay. Mm, let's write some sentence that I need to improve. In Korea. We rate guys, by the way, for my YouTube viewers, uh, don't think that uh, I, don't, I actually like these guys. It's been like a common thing lately in my chat to talk about guys and their specs or their um, qualification and everything. So what's in my mind are those. I'm sorry, but we have to go through this, to be honest. We rate guys by their facial 
here and are these full appearance oh up here oh oh attractiveness oh by their looks oh they give you good idea like a natural way however most of the guys are not that good looking i hope to see some hot guys in my future life but in reality there are none i did go to gangnam and saw that should i just mess up all uh, um um there were guys wearing the same clothes and oh <gasps> have the same hair so it actually also finishes a sentence for you however um no i keep saying however uh by the time i came home i realized wait, did i write realize again that my husband was a farm okay so uh we rate guys instead of saying we rate guys they want us maybe using we judge men by their looks whoa actually it's very nice however most guys are not that good looking oh most most of the guys that are most guys at all all it also helps you with grammar too i hope to see some hot guys in my future life but in reality there are not oh they're okay with the sentence or either they're okay or they just was like oh my god this sentence is like so bad i can't do anything with it I went to Gangnam and saw that there are guys who wear the same clothes and have the same hair. When I came home, ah, uh, by the time I came home, when I came home, I realized that my husband was a charm. Oh, where? Why did I not have this in America? In when I was young, <gasps> so I can change the style. So let's go, kind of like a business, and I want it to be confident. Oh, set a tone or set a writing style, like, nah. So I set it to. Oh, wow! I set it to business and it's done. In Korea, we evaluate men based on their physical appearances. <gasps> However, the majority of men do not meet our standard of attractiveness. What wow. is just basically them saying? However, most of the guys are not like looking. While I hope to encounter more attractive men in the future, <gasps> is I hope to see some hot guys in my future life. Oh my god. In reality, there are few such individuals. But in reality, there are none. Oh my god, it's so different. I did visit Gangnam and observed that many men wore similar clothing and had similar hairstyles. By the time I returned home, I realized that my husband was a very attractive man. <gasps> oh my god. What is this? What is this product? It's so good. Micha so. Wow. Okay, let's kind of do like a friend like a like a simple writing style. Young. Ah, super simple. In Korea, we rate guys by their looks. Most guys aren't that good looking. I hope to see some hot guys in the future. But there aren't any. I went to Gangnam and saw guys wearing the same clothes and having the same hair. By the time I came home, I realized my husband was charming. Whoa, so simple. Wow, this style is so fun. Oh, academic. Let's see. In Korea, individuals are typically evaluated based on their physical appearances. However, the majority of men in Korea do not possess a particularly attractive physical appearances. Appearance, sorry. While it is hoped that future relationship will involve attractive partners, this is not always the case in reality. A visit to Gangnam revealed that many men there dress similarly and have similar hairstyles. Upon returning home, it became apparent that the husband in question was, what is this, 
aesthetically pleasing. Wow, she beaches all. Wow. Why did I not have this when I was writing papers in America? <gasps> no wonder. Wow, show change it. Okay. Wow. So this. Ah, so that's the two products. Is better writing with Deep L write or the translate? <gasps> wow, this is so good. This is so good, guys. And I know someone wanted the PDF translate. I will get um. Is there any PDF out there? Guys, give me some PDF while I go to the bathroom. Hi, from Eugene. How are you? How was your stream? Yeah, I always pick up prostitutes. What? I like to pick up prostitutes. Mumpanan <laughs> Yoda. Pick up. GTA. Ah, GTA. You're talking about GTA? But they, they make a joke. I have no idea what you were talking about. Why all of a sudden prostitutes? <laughs> She looked, she looked worried for a bit. She's like, am I streaming with the right girl? I think she's trying to kill me, guys. Guys, this is where I took my physics exam and got a C. Are you guys excited to see where I got C? So, I took my freaking physics exam and I got a C on it, guys. Um, do you have the ability to stop that thingy? Can <laughs> you see me? Can you see me? Let's get there. Help me! Help me! Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Miyane! <laughs> we only accept classical music today. The fuck? <laughs> Guys, actually, this would be good. All these PDFs load so slow. Ah, are, ah, okay, okay. Take, take your time. I can, I can wait. Whoa, so cool. I don't know where to find PDF. Is it too big? Ah. Can we get a smaller one? Come on, let me also look for PDF then. Ah, uh, what is it? Like three page PDF. I'm gonna move no? What is this? Actually, it doesn't even load here. Hello! It's so slow! 
あいやあうん maybe I can write one on Google Translate this d e e l Oh, actually, this got good. So let's do Korean. I'm gonna write an email to ah, company letter to intern. 안녕하세요. 진리호 대표 진리입니다. 요새 더워 더위가 뭐라고 해야 돼? <laughs> I don't know if I can write it in Korean that well. 요새 많이 더워서 지치신 지친 지치신 것 같아 마음이 안 좋습니다. 어, oh, is this 지치신 것 같아? 음, um, 다만 저희 회사 실적이 많이 안 좋아 보이니 어, 이렇게라도 이메일을 보내고 보내, 보냅니다. 최근 들어 저희 인턴님들이 출, 출근이 저조하며 어, 참여도가 많이 낮은 걸 보아하니 연애 하나 싶네요. <웃음> 어. 연애하지 않으면 열심히 방송이나 보라고 이것들아. 알겠어? 오케이. Okay. I wrote a nice message to you guys. It's a company letter. 어. 열심히 현실에서 돈을 벌어 나에게 돈을 받 받치 받 이게 왜왜 왜? I don't know the thing in Korean 받치다 이건가? 아받 받치렴 이거래 They say it's this. Oh, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm o i I make this into PDF. Ooh. It's my company letter, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy my letter. So, if I just drag it down here, then it's supposed to work. Okay, translate into English. It's detecting the language. Well, let's see if it translated it. So they detected it saying it wasn't English and now it's translating it to English. Translating it to American English. Let's see. Oh! Oh! And I download it. So they actually make it in... Oh! And you know what's good is that They have it in English. They wrote it English. So subscribe to Deep l Pro to translate larger documents. Visit. Oh, so they have the uh, thumbnail. Hello. Truth Co. is the representative truth. Ah. Ah. Actually, that, that is kind of messed up. It's been hot lately. And I feel bad that you're exhausted. I'm just sending you this email. Uh, because it looks like we're doing pretty badly. <laughs> Lately, our interns have been showing up late and disengaged, which makes me think there's a love affair going on. Ooh. 
If you are not in a relationship, just watch the show. Ah, 방송을 쇼라고 했네. Okay. I guess so. Uh, earn money in the real life and give it to me. Fake it. Ah, 뻥이고를 번역이 안 되네. Fake it is uh, just kidding. Be happy, have fun, work hard, and be successful in love and marriage. Representative truth dream. Ah, 아직 어 this translation isn't that good with PDF, but I wonder if I write it here, it's the same way. Yeah, so dream is like from in English, but it's not translating it well. So there are definitely like not a good translation there in that sense. And then this is Truth Knows representing. 이게 actually just a generic call. Oh, 이렇게 안 되구나. Um, maybe in some sense the yeah they don't recognize that Jinri is a name. Instead they wrote Truth. Ah. Yeah 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 yeah. Actually there's no comparison. I guess so. Do you understand? I just hard card on the broadcast. So the translation is a little bit better. But fake it. Ah, 이게 딱안 좋네. Just kidding, 이 없네. They don't have just kidding. Just kidding. Just fake it. Oh, what the heck? So, I think it might need a bit of work on it. Also, hello is not capitalized. Ah, 그러네. Yeah. So might have some issue. What is this? K-pop vocal and dance academy. Oh, you know what? Do let's test the actual like documents. You don't want to get that. Okay, we're gonna put Juna song. Damn it, Juna song. Yeah. So if I translate this, let's see the outcome. Actually, wasn't that impressed. Uh, in terms of just the uh, PDF dot uh translation. So let's see what they say. Jinri is named after Paul. It's from Bible. Okay, so I downloaded this, and let's see. What they say. Oh, 잠깐만. Let me just get the actual document out and see while looking at it. Um, so press release date. Please report it immediately upon report. Ah, so if it's written in Korean more like formally, I think it works well. Email. How come they didn't? Ah, sorry. Contact was in English, guys. This part was in English. This is date, deployment date, 전시. Showcase, extension of the exhi exhibition period of the 26th Korean Cultural Center Los Angeles Contemporary Art Competition Winner Exhibit. Da -da 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 -da. So basic translation is done really well, it seems like. Right? And Tammy Choi's name is in English, so it's okay. Um... 요게 내용이 안 됐네. 주체, 주체. 잠깐만. Date. And then online site. Actually, it should be saying online site. And then 주체. 아. I was like, what is weekly, weeks choy? Any Koreans get this? 자, week 는 주. 체. Is last name Che Choi, <laughs> but Ju Che means like the starting, like which uh the organization is Ju Che. <laughs> Weeks Choi. I was like, what the heck is Week Choi? So Korean culture, and then this part is yeah maybe because of the space 
Um, but actually, there is no space in the actual documentation either. Like here, if you guys can see, here we go to. 내용. 내용도 없네. 내용 is my. Third is the third. What? My. This is the third is. Ah, uh, 뭐야? 내용이 뭐야? 어, 이 부분도 애매하네. 문이. 남준 Park. What the heck is? Second. Ah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So then, Choi Choi is Ju uh, Che. <laughs> then the description is 내용. 문이 이렇게는 괜찮은데 주체를 모르네. There are still some words that they don't know. 재밌다 이거. <laughs> Choi Choi, <laughs> Choi Choi. Yeah, details. Choi Choi, what? 내용. Description maybe yeah so it's not that bad I think um but it does do a good translation I think if you were to just translate a PDF instead of using this because you cannot edit this I think I don't actually have a legitimate uh, translation device but it might be best to just translate it through the translation text I think this is more exact than the files so. But yeah, oh, it's really good. Nice. Oh, it's not bad. I actually really like it. Oh, ah, I like it. I really like it. I really love the glossary part too. Um, figuring out some word, like replace a certain word with this. Um, so I love the testing. Yeah, so that's all for going through each and testing it out. I really liked it. This was actually really worth it, guys. Wasn't bad. Definitely wasn't bad. I love the choi choi part. So, thank you. Thank you, uh, Seishi, by the way, for bringing a fun AI. Let's create a uh, YouTube video that I will post on my channel. So. Can we get a time spent time stamp, guys? I think it said you have to pay for Pro to be able to edit. Yeah, I wonder. I don't think Pro does anything special, right? Other than certain features. Hmm. 그러네. I think the customized option Pro in terms of Pro is really good. Ah, wow, 30 days per month. If you do a lot of transport, uh, if you do a lot of translating, it's not what the heck. What is South Korea USD? <laughs> Wait, is it different? That's weird. Oh, thank you. Anyways, um, oh, wrong file. Hi, everyone. Today, I, I want to make it my programming colors. I have to. Dang. I don't know where my programming jacket went, guys. Said G. But. Hi, everyone. Today we are here with another AI tool. Today we brought you guys DeepL. So let's get started. Hi, YouTube. So DeepL has two different products, guys. So one is translating, which you can translate from all these different languages uh, that you can see to, yeah, other language you guys want. And they actually said that Japanese and Chinese, I think, had a really high translation um, like accuracy compared to uh, uh, other websites. I was looking around this site, which was really cool. So you guys can see that they had an overview. Wait, I should have had this thing prepared. I want to show you guys. Ah, where'd it go? Bianne, sorry, chat. Ing, ing. Oh. 
Is it this one? Ah, here, sorry. So they have a translation accuracy. It seems like they are over three times more accurate than their closest competitors. So their best one, I would say, is Google. But yeah. So when my viewer said that they translated using the this one to Japanese, it was very accurate. So I used it for Korean. Honestly, it wasn't bad. I thought I thought it was very good in terms of like the tone and manners. But there are definitely some words that this has not been taught and learned yet. Um, for example, my name is Jinri, but they cannot recognize names, I think. Uh, they did recognize some of like the uh, actors and actresses' name. I typed in like Kim Soo-yeon, which is an actor from the Queen of Tears, if you guys watched it on Netflix. Uh, and it actually translated exactly to Kim Soo-yeon. But since my name also has a meaning of truth, they actually translate it as truth. Um, they also didn't know a certain word like chuche, which means organization, or tirim is like from in, in, in Korean. So in that sense, it was kind of like lacking a little, but I really liked it. I love playing around. I love also how if you want to translate English, but you cannot type, you can use the voice and say, you know, like, and then, hi guys, what's up, man? And then it translates it for you. Really love using this feature, especially if you're too lazy to type. Uh, and then they also have a translate files. Uh, at least for the one in Korean, it does need to be more accurate, I think. I think the accuracy definitely drops for this one. I tested out a couple of ones. Um, I found some random PDF, or I just chat found one. And they give you the head title here, but as you guys can see, there's like Choi Choi. And I was like, what is Choi Choi? It was Chuche, like organization. So it still does need some work in that sense. But the fact that they can detect the language in the PDF was really cool. And next was my favorite. I would have to say my favorite because I wrote a random sentence. I actually just wrote this on the spot, like no grammar check, no nothing. My use of vocabulary is very bad. It's really poor. I don't know if you guys can notice. The only like fancy vocab I would have to say is like facial appearance, I guess. Um, but I could change it into different styles. I did this for academic, which was so fancy. Like they would use all different filler words, which was really cool. I also tried it business and casual, which works nicely. Uh, simple makes it super simple as if you're writing it on TikTok. Uh, so if you guys ever need to write a script, I would use this because when I ask, like, for example, ChatGPT to write a script, it just writes it like in a rough way but i think this helps out make the tone and manner much more smoother and nicer i think um depending on what setting you want to be in so i would have to say this is one of my favorite tools that I, if i were still in school i would definitely use this though i don't know what the teachers would think but if you have a major that requires a lot of writing this is definitely the one to use i think so that was the two, three, two or three tools that they mainly are pushing. Um, they are working with a bunch of companies for it. So you definitely have different pricing of like the using the pro one. For me as a student, I don't think you would need to use the pro, but um, it does give you like data security, text improvements, um, using alternative or using writing styles. So it's not bad, but I guess uh, if you do a lot of writing jobs or if you have like if you need a lot of translation being done, if you're working in a company that works globally, then it wouldn't be yet bad using the pro version. But I wish a lot of businesses would work with this team and have it for their company instead of an individual having to pay. But yeah. And it's also downloadable. I didn't get to check it, but you can have a desktop app or browser extension. There's also one for mobile, so you can check it out. They also have integrations for Microsoft Word, Google Workspace, Microsoft 365. And yeah, so that's all for DeepL. Anything I'm missing? Um, you can have 
they also provide the APIs for you guys to code if you guys want to, but definitely going to be helpful for those who need to write papers or that needs to do um translation uh i used to work at a trans like i used to do a lot of translation from korean to english and vice versa so i used google a lot uh to do like the rough version but i think if you use this one it's more exact at least for the korean uh and i love their tone so much better uh so yeah if you guys want to see the whole um like work through walk through of this app check out my other video but this is all for learning about what deep l is so thanks for watching and see you guys on my other one bye guys a lot of teachers use tools like this to detect ai and you would get in trouble oh wow there's actually tools sorry i didn't get to read it would be interesting to see if it would do better with word version of that pdf oh that's a great question maybe might be risky have read stories of students running into problems with using tools like grammarly is it bad do you think to use it ah cookie run that's true maybe they actually hire someone okay now the moment you guys have all been waiting for we are going to compare deep l which is a translation tool and papago which is a translation tool for korean uh, uh, by, uh made by naver which is a huge search engine in korea google translate and finally i didn't even know amazon had a translation um service but amazon so let's get started uh let's tr i i guess i have to make a okay let me use my i guess i have to create an aws account i don't think i have an aws choose a name and then I have to verify. Just give me a second. A W S A W S W S. Okay, so it's been verified. Your password. Ah, okay. I have to write a password. Step one, step two. <gasps> uh, personal. Do I have to write all my personal information here? <gasps> my name, my phone number, my address. Eh? Ah, okay. <gasps> Wait, they want me to write my like card info. Yeah, I'll, 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 let's not do AWS. Okay, let's recreate. <laughs> let's just do just these three guys. Miane, I don't want to write in my card information. I don't like writing my card info in Fio. Okay, erase that part. Hi everyone, today we are here with the content that everyone has been waiting for. It's where we're going to compare DeepL, which is a translation, AI translation tool, with Papago, which is Naver's translation. Naver is a uh, search engine in Korea, with Google Translate. And you guys know Google Translate, so let's get started. So this is DeepL. Uh, I brought two prompts today that I wrote earlier. And I brought these prompts because... Oh, yeah. They were pretty interesting. So I'm going to do English to Korean. And see, I should have had the one in Korean, but I totally not. So the prompt is this. 
There are so many men in the world, but there is no perfect man. How many men are over six feet tall, good looking, and have a stable job? In reality, it's not easy to find a man like this. At some point, the viewers will have to get married and they will be worried because they don't have the right qualifications. Marriage shouldn't be done unless you're a really good person, but I want to see them something. Well, I want them to see something other than the external part. Actually, this was vice versa where I translated. Uh, I wrote it. I wrote the prompt in Korean and I had it translated in English. But at the time, what was really cool was they actually translated the six feet tall. Um, I actually had it at 160, 180 centimeter and they translated to six feet tall. So Korean, 세상에는 수많은 남자가 있지만 완벽한 남자는 없습니다. 키가 six six 6 피트가 넘고 잘생기고 안정적인 직업을 가진 남자가 몇이나 될까요? 오. 음. 현실에서 이런 남자를 찾기는 쉽지 않죠. 언젠가는 결혼을 해야 하는데 조건이 맞지 않아서 고민하는 시청자들도 있을 겁니다. 오. Actually, their Korean is so much better than mine. 결혼은 정말 좋은 사람이 아니면 안 하는 게 맞지만 외적인 부분 말고 내면을 봐줬으면 좋겠어요. <웃음> so the only issue I would have is six feet. 진짜 이거는 because Koreans don't say six feet. They don't know what feet is. So if they were to able, if they were to convert that into centimeters, they actually did it vice versa, where they converted the Korean six feet to one eight or 180 centimeters to six feet, but not bad. So if I wrote here, actually, he got 180. 180이 넘고, okay. Right? They say over six feet, you look. Or six four. How many men do you know who are six feet? So, okay. Now we're going to translate this. Uh, Oops. What was the English one that I had before? Ah! Now we're gonna translate the English one to Korean on Papago. So let's see. 어, 세상에는, 세상에 남자는 정말 많지만 완벽한 남자는 없습니다. Is it same? Oh, actually, similar. Six feet. 6 feet가 넘는 키에 잘생기고 안정적인 직업을 가진 남자는 몇 명이나 될까요? 현실적으로 이런 남자를 찾기가 쉽지 않습니다. Is it? 오, 시청자들도 어느 순간 결혼을 해야 할 것이고 마땅한 자, 자격 요건이 없이 고민이 많이 많을 많을 것입니다. 오. 정말 좋은 사람이 아니면 결혼을 해서는 안 되지만 외적인 부분 아닌 다른 것을 봤으면 좋겠습니다. <웃음> 아. 오, 오케이, 오케이. 어, in the Korean translation for papago. 어, it feels like an actual Korean saying this. This actually feels like more Korean than Deep L. Deep L seems like Korean American talking. <웃음> Papago seems like Korean talking. Oh, because for example, like in this sentence, 현실적으로 이런 남자를 찾기 쉽지가 않습니다. It was in reality, it's not easy to find a man like this. They actually said 현실에서 이런 남자를 찾기는 쉽지 않죠. It sounds a little different, right? For those listening. Um, so I think Papago is more business translation. Whereas this deep L is more semi-casual. But what Papago has is this feature up here called Dopumar, which is saying using honorifics. I want to kind of lower this. So let's say we're not using honorific because what they have translated made it super business terminology. So without the honorific it is uh, 세상에는 남자는 정말 많지만 완벽한 남자는 없다. 키가 6 피트가 넘고 잘생기고 안정적인 직업을 가진 남자가 몇 명이나 될까? 현실적으로 이런 남자를 찾기가 쉽지 않다. 시청자들도 어느 순간 결혼을 해야 할 것이고 마땅한 자격 요건이 없이 고민이 많을 것이다. 결혼은 정말 좋은 사람이 아니면 안 되는데 
외적인 부분이 아닌 다른 것을 봤으면 좋겠다. Actually, I also something that I realized with the Papago translation is that it's directly translated. For example, here I wrote at some point the viewers will have to get married and they will be worried because they don't have the right qualification. Uh, so they did an exact direct translation from English to Korean. Maybe it's the way I wrote it. But here, they flipped it saying they someday they will have to get married but um, there will be some viewers who will think because they don't have the right qualification. So actually, it does switch it. Whether I wrote this... <laughs> In a Korean style English, um, but that's actually something interesting too. Not bad. The not using the honorific, it sounds more like not. It sounds more like how it would be written in a book, which is pretty interesting. So, finally, let's go Google Translate. Well, I don't know how this will turn. Um, Google Translate is kind of known to have bad translation. But let's go. There are 세상에 남자는 많지만 완벽한 남자는 없습니다. 이거는 뭐 음. 음, okay. 키가 6피트가 넘고 잘생기며 안정적인 직업을 갖고 있는 남자가 몇 명이나 될까요? 현실적으로 이런 남자 찾기가 쉽지 않습니다. 시청자들은 어느 순간 결혼을 해야 하는데 자격이 없 고민을 하게 될 것이다. 정말 좋은 사람이 아니면 결혼을 하면 안 되지만 겉모습이 아닌 다른 부 겉모습을 쓰네 여기서는. 오. 오. So Google definitely does sound like AI. Um, they have their they don't sound like a translator like like an actual physical person translating so i think this one is yeah so uh it's not bad i think google translate isn't as bad as i expected um they use phrases that there are different different vocabs that you could be using that Google Translate either don't know of or, you know, so they use like 겉모습, which also works as external part, but the word that I wrote in Korean at first was 외적 or 외면. I actually said 외면, but they say that one. And this also does, Google Translate also does the same thing where they flipped, I don't know, yeah. With Papago, where they don't flip about talking about the qualification first. So, yeah, the first set isn't that bad. It's Google Translate isn't bad, but it does feel like an AI. Seems like DeepL Google is more generic, and the other one is more fine tuned towards Korean language. Yeah, 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 yeah I definitely think so. So, uh, let's try one more. Let's try one more um, phrase that I got. This is very casual. It's just me talking to a friend. Um, and I didn't really talk like this, but I just, it was a random thing that came to my mind. <laughs> so the English prompt is, so the other day I was talking to this girl and she really wanted this guy to have the best body. Oh, we don't really use the word best body, right? The guy, uh, wanted this guy to have at. Oh, what wait, what do what do people say? Um, to have the hottest, the sexiest body in the world. Okay, and I was like, "What the heck? You are not that hot. You have an A cup for your boob size. I can't believe that's what you're expecting. Can you look for something better?" She got mad at me, so we stopped being friends since then. Is kind of the prompt that I made. Um, don't judge me, guys. <laughs> I I don't. I didn't really say this. So those there are some people that I want to say. So, <laughs> so the Korean translation for deep L turns to be 얼마 전 얼마 전에 좀 얼마 전 어떤 여자와 예, 이야기를 나누는데 이 남자가 세상에서 가장 섹시한 몸을 몸매를 가졌으면 어 몸매 가졌으면 좋겠다고 하더군요. 어 그래서 제가 생각했죠. 뭐야? 
당신은 그렇게 섹시하지 않잖아요. 가슴 사이즈가 A컵이잖아요. 그런 걸 기대하다니 믿을 수가 없네요. 더 좋은 거 찾아볼래요? 나한테 화를 냈어. 그래서 그 이후로 친구 사이를 그만뒀어요. So this is definitely more casual talk, right? The Korean translation realizes it. So the AI acknowledges that it's casual. So they're using the word yo a lot. But when I when the translation of she got mad at me, she all of a sudden doesn't even add yo. 나한테 화냈어요 would have been the right translation, but all of a sudden he says 나한테 화냈어. So it does need a little work. Uh, it does still feel like AIE um, when you do like casual translation. Let's go to Papago. 그래서 며칠 전에 제가 이 여자와 이야기를 나누었는데 이 여자는 이 남자가 세상에서 가장 섹시한 몸매를 갖기를 정말 원했습니다. 그리고 저는 도대체 뭐야? 당신은 그렇게 섹시하지 않아요. 당신은 당신의 가슴 사이즈에 맞는 A 컵을 가지고 있어. <웃음> 잠깐만, this is what the heck? 어, 당신이 기대하는 것이 믿겨지지 않아요. 더 좋은 것을 찾을 수 있나요? 그녀는 저에게 화를 냈어요. 그래서 그 이후로 우리는 친구가 되지 않게 되었어요. 허! Wanted this guy to have makes it sound like you're talking about a specific guy rather than just saying the guy was. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> But anyways, uh, the Papago translation, guys. It's not bad. It's actually not bad, but it does need work. So these two, one of the things that I realized with the translation is any casual talk, it doesn't go that well because they use the word. So in Korea, um, we don't really use the word no, but in English, like you, but in English, we use the word you a lot, right? Because you have to say, How are you? Like, we're talking to you, right? So, usually they take out the word you because they know that it's referencing you because I'm talking to you. But every time um, I use that word, they use the word 당신. But actually, 당신 is not being used a lot. So, um, it's kind of hard to realize. And uh, a little bit of the slang, for example, what the heck? It's not a slang, but... Um, they are not able to translate that. Like, what the heck feels is translated to 도대체 뭐야? You know? um, and in terms of this translation of you have a A cup for your boob size, Deep L did so much better. It, saying that it's more fluid, like it's more casual. Because it says just 가슴 size is A cup. Unlike this one says, 당신은 당신의 가슴 사이즈에 맞는 A 컵을 가지고 있어요. It's like twisting. It just added the fluff words a lot. So actually, casual talk. I think Deepel is doing a little bit better. There are a bit that's um uh, a little bit rough for Deepel, but um for casual chat talk, uh Deepel does it better. Last is Google. 그래서 얼마 전한 여자와 이야기를 나누었는데 여, 그 여, 그녀는 이 남자가 세상에서 가장 섹시한 몸매를 갖기를 진심으로 원했대. 아, really. So it's translated really as 진심. 그리고 나는 도대체 뭐야. 아, what the heck. 당신은 그렇게 뜨겁지가 않대. 아, they cannot translate hot. They translated hot as a actual hot, like you're hot. So 뜨겁다 means burning, like burning hot. <laughs> 가슴 사이즈에 맞는 A 컵이 가슴 사이즈에 맞는 A 컵이 있어요. What the heck does that mean? Ah, oh, okay. Even this part is rough. You have a A cup for your boob size. 나는 그것이 당신이 기대하는 것이라고 믿을 수 없습니다. Oh, this is rough too. 더 나은 것을 찾아볼 수 있나요? 그녀는 나에게 화를 냈습니다. 그래서 우리는 그 이후로 친구가 되지 않았습니다. 
okay. They cannot do casual talk. Oh. Google Translation is definitely just a robot translation. Uh, I think this is the best one. 당신은 그렇게 뜨겁지 않대. Means uh, you are not that hot. You know. So Google cannot acknowledge. I think Google does not have any AI system embedded because they cannot identify. Ah, this text is a casual text. So when they're using like the word hot, they're not actually referring to like the temperature hot. But it's referring to sexy hot. Uh, unlike Papago and Deep L, which was able to recognize that. However, Papago is not good at knowing the American slangs. For example, what the heck becomes 도대체 뭐야? So Deep L actually said 뭐야? Like just naturally, like what the heck? 뭐야? Hmm? They didn't actually add the word 도대체? So, uh, minus like the honorific, uh, the keeping it steady of adding maybe like the yo of 나한테 화냈어요 like in that sense um, Deepo, whether Deepo is recognizing English well or in terms of Korean um, they got a better Korean system there uh, if you want things to be translated casually for instance if you're traveling I would actually use DeepL more than Papago or Google Translate. But if you plan to write like a business... Uh, I mean, Papago wasn't bad. But definitely the casual, like this type of talking about it, I think DeepL is much better. Ah, yeah. I found for using a translation is to translate it and they trans take the translate and trace it back. Ah, actually, that's a really smart idea. Ah, that's smart. Okay, so one last thing because chat wanted me to do is I will translate it into Korean and then trans uh, use Papago to see if, if you guys understand what I'm saying. And then I will make my um, conclusion. Ah, uh, I don't have a prompt ready. 기다려봐. Mm. Oh, maybe I should use stuff from news. So let me translate a fun news for you. <gasps> Felix was at uh Hang. <laughs> Write the same sentence, but how you would say it in English. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, let's write a sentence in Korean. 저는 요새 스트레이티즈 필릭스가 너무 마음에 들어요. 하지만 세븐틴의 원우도 좋고 다양한 남자 아이돌을 좋아해서 큰일이네요. My brain just froze. Um, 언젠가는 이거를 볼 우리 오빠들에게 하고 싶은 말이 있는데 있어요. 어 그동안 응원도 많이 했고 어 멀리서 남아. 켜보고 있었어요. 있었어. 사랑해. 오빠. <laughs> okay, anyways. The last paragraph we wrote in English, but translated how you would actually say it in Korean. Huh? What? What the heck? <laughs> so I wrote a phrase in Korean. Let's see how well it translated it in English. 저는 요새 스트레이키즈 필릭스가 너무 마음에 들어요. How I will my English translation of what I wrote. Recently, I fell in love with Stray Kids Felix. 하지만 세븐틴의 원우도 좋고 다양한 남자 아이돌을 좋아해서 큰일이에요. 
큰일이 에이오 할게 큰일이 에이오 but I also love Seventeen's Wonu and other male other guy idol so it's a it's a big issue someday my opas will see this uh, I want to say something to my opas who will one day see this I have watched you from far away and have uh, cheered you on for a while. I love you, Opa. Is my, like Jinri's, head translation. Let's read it at deep L1. So I've been really into 17 kids Felix. Okay, we, they cannot be, spell Felix, but late. I've been really into 17 Feely lately, but I also like one U from 17. Oh, they must know 17, guys. Uh, and I like a lot of different male idols, so it's a big deal. <laughs> I want to say something to my brothers, uh, who will watch this one day. I've been supporting them a lot and watching from far away, from afar. I love you, bro. Whoa. Oh, not bad. What? Instead of this, write the conversation about your friend wanting a hot body in Korean. Ah, uh, you want me to write that phrase exactly in Korean? What's the difference? Can I move on? <laughs> so anyways, uh I love how this one is bro versus brothers. Oppa did get it bro to go. Yeah. So that's nice. And then you're So Papa go. Though Deep L is not recognizing my Felix Opa, which is kind of sad. But I think they actually recognize Wonu from 17. But it may be the way that I wrote it. Trying to test it if they might recognize 17 at all or. Ah, uh, 그러네. They cannot recognize Felix from 17, but I think they actually recognize Wonu from 17. Uh, but it's, it's more casual. It's definitely more casual. And then. Papago. Oh, I really like Felix from Straight Kids these days. But I'm in trouble because I like Wonu from 17 and I like various boy bands. I want to say something to my brothers who will watch this someday. I've been rooting for them a lot and watching them from afar. I love you, Opa. Oh, what? What? What's up, Opa? Oh! I like Korean to English translation from Papago. I think that's much better. And then last is Google Translate. Yeah, you go to your Ah, I really like Stray Kids Felix these days, but I also like 17's Wonu and I like various male groups. So it's a big deal. There is something I want to say to my brothers who will see this someday. I've been cheering you on a lot and watching you from afar. I love you, brother. Actually, it's exactly the same as Deep L, right? But Papago is different. <gasps> so, honestly, here's what I think from after using all three and testing some prompts is if you write it in Korean, since Papago is a, a Korean website, they can understand the Korean much better. However, since Deep L and Google Translate are from America, they actually translate from English to Korean much better. So my conclusion for this is if you are writing in mail to like email or anything 
and your Korean, uh, you have to write it from Korean to English, I would use papago. But if you need anything from English to Korean, I would use mostly deep L. I would double check it with papago. Um, and I wouldn't use Google Translate. <laughs> if you want to sound really AI e, I would use Google Translate. But that's what the conclusion I have in mind for the three translation app. But it wasn't bad. I honestly think each app is really cool. They have really cool effects. So that's all. That's yeah. Which one did you guys like from all three? If you guys had to compare the three, which one did you guys like more? You still trust Papago? Because you guys didn't know the Korean translation, right? But actually, Deep L Korean translation uh, to Korean wasn't really bad. But yeah, I think Papago is up there. I mean, it's been a very long time. Uh, long. It's been a very old app, old website. So I think it's good. So anyways, this was the comparison between DeepL, Google Translate, and Papago. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys can figure out which one to use. But honestly, don't use Google Translate. <laughs> Google, you have to work harder, man. What the heck is this? I love you, brother. <laughs> From another mother? What the heck, man? So, uh, that's all. I okay, okay, ne? Because Papago recognized Felix from Stray Kids. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, got a book in there. Why does this spell as Felix? Feel. Felix, no, so, Shimjo. Oh, there's Felix. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can also rate on Papago too. Point, Penny, Punk, I always saw. Why you, you know, really like it. I can also rate it. I can edit it, 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 it you know, here. 오빠 이게 대박인 거 아니야? 사랑해 오빠를 I love you 오빠로 번역했어. 이게 last best part 이다. 이게 best part. I really like Felix from Stray Kids. This this days why a why this day e why what the heck? D A E Y. They cannot say days, but I'm in trouble because I like one year from <laughs> seventeen, and I like various boy dances. I want to to say something to my brothers who will watch this S O U M E D A E Y. I've been rooting for their light under and watching them from. A E F P E R. I love you, Apo. <laughs> yeah, 이게 제일 문제네. Papa was the biggest problem. Oh, 그러니까 it's so bad. What the fuck? Yeah, 이게 문제네. Papa was. Was that a new egg? Doesn't it sound like a new egg? Okay, okay. Ah, that was fun. Whew. Okay, chat. Now, let's end with K-pop today. Oh, I'm so